Hey guys, welcome back to the comic book lowdown again. Um, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, these off the dome videos, but uh, that's just because I haven't had any good topic to talk about. But uh, recently, I just got something to talk about because it's really getting annoying how much people just jump onto hating something before they get anything. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about already, since I haven't explained it, um, I'm talking about the Daredevil Netflix show. Um, if you're on Facebook and you're on the comic book collecting page or comic book collectors page or something like that, uh, as I am, you might have seen the post. There's a post about comparing the new image that uh, Marvel recently released of Charlie Cox in the Daredevil costume from Man Without Fear and it's kind of side by side with the costume that was that uh, Daredevil wore in the 1980s Hulk show which is the same costume kind of but uh, it's got it's different at the same time and I know when I first saw, and first of all, if you haven't seen the picture, uh, hopefully it shows up on my phone well. This is it. That's the uh, image. And yes, it's not Daredevil in his red suit. But um, it's been getting a lot of hate so far. People, and what's shocking is that a lot of people are like, it doesn't look like Daredevil. Daredevil's red. They're pointing out the obvious things They're like where's the horn? Where's where's the horns? Where's the red? Where's the DD on the chest? You know, and then they dismiss it. Now, obviously these people don't know Daredevil because Daredevil originally wears or if we're going by continuity before he even wears the yellow and red or yellow and brown or whatever it is suit, he wears this all black suit, which I have an image of. For those of you who haven't seen it, it looks like this. And it was written by Frank Miller. That's what it looks like. So, there's that. So, I know when I first saw the image, I got really excited because I was like, wow, they're going to go through a really solid origin with this, especially because it's a TV show, you can flesh it out a lot more, and then we're going to get a lot of cool stuff with this black costume, possibly even the yellow costume. I don't know if they'd make it work in the TV show, or maybe they'd just go straight to the red one. Either way, I'm totally fine, but I think it's really cool that they're going to go ahead and do... Uh, the black costume first makes sense to me if you're telling an origin, especially on TV, where you don't want to just skip over things. Um, so, for me, as someone who is a fan of Daredevil, was like really excited. Now I see other people who comment on this post and are like, there's like three camps. There's the camp that I in, I'm in that is like trying to explain that this is obviously not going to be his costume for the entire season or even if it is it's going to be a long origin he's going to go to the red suit eventually um, but it's probably not going to be for the whole season in fact it'll probably be for only a few episodes like two or three and then he goes to the red suit um, so one not going to be there for long the black suit and then two it's his origin you know you don't bypass his origin so this is the camp that I'm in trying to explain why this is this way and why it's actually cool that it's this way unfortunately that's a very small camp of people that I belong to and yeah the next camp is people who are like I like the suit I understand that it's from the Man of Fear book, uh, or Man Without Fear, um, but if it lasts for 
the entire season, I'm going to be so angry. That camp is a little bit bigger than mine, but um, that's them. And then the camp of people that has the most members in it is the people who say, or are the people who say, this is going to suck, that doesn't look like Daredevil. Daredevil is red, has horns, has two Ds on his chest, not dicks, but two Ds that cross. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and unfortunately, that's the larger camp of people who don't get it through their, their brain that that is the original costume that he's going to be wearing in the show. So, I explain it like this. Think of superheroes that go through kind of an origin that have multiple costumes. So, um, think of Spider-Man or think of Iron Man. If you think of Spider-Man, you can, you can uh, compare this Daredevil black suit to Spider-Man's wrestling suit. Or if you're thinking about Ultimate Spider-Man, you can think of it as Spider-Man's uh, suit without the webs on it. The plain, just red and blue suit. You can think of it like that. Just the preliminary suit. Or if you're thinking of Iron Man, think to the first Iron Man movie. What does he have before he has the sleek, uh, you know, red and yellow Iron Man suit that everybody knows? He has the big, clunky, you know, not really walkable suit. You know, the, the huge one, the original Iron Man suit. He has that in the movie. Obviously, he changes. In this Daredevil show, he is obviously going to go to the red suit. This isn't the 1980s where, you know, you can't really get away with doing that. It's 2014. Everybody is familiar with superhero content now. Whether you're a fan of the superhero movies or not, or a fan of comics or not, you have been affected in one way or another, small or large, by superhero movies or TV shows, whether you've just seen commercials for them all the time because they're everywhere, or whether you see all the midnight premieres to all of them and watch all the, you know, superhero or comic book related TV shows live. It affect, it's affected everyone. So we are all familiar with superheroes. And in this time, especially when you can make a Spider-Man movie with Spider-Man looking like Spider-Man with the big white eyes and make it, you know, look good. And when you can have, I don't know, you can have Thor and Captain America and Iron Man and, you know, Hawkeye and Black Widow and they all, you know, look good. And you can have Loki having a helmet with huge horns on his head. You can pull off a Daredevil suit. It's The black suit is not going to be the only suit they use in the show for those of you who don't know that. It is one image. The show comes out next year. It is one year away. Now good marketing says everybody wants to see this red suit. I want to build excitement for the show. It's still a year away. Why would I release a picture of the red suit a year early? I'm going to be releasing these other pictures of Charlie Cox, the actor who's playing Matt Murdock, I'll release him as Matt Murdock with, you know, some with like a black eye and his glasses on and walking with a cane. And I'll release this image of, you know, the black suit as, you know, something to get fans really riled up about. But I'm not going to release the red suit a year out. You release that when you're like, a couple months, maybe one month out. You don't release that right away. So, you know, that's just how good marketing works. Now, if you're in the case of, you know, if you want to throw the Batman versus Superman at me, how they released the Batman suit and the uh, in the Batmobile 
what that's going to look like, you know, and that movie comes out in, what, 2016? Yeah, throw that out, but at the same time, they move the movie back. So they have all this stuff. They already teased it at Comic-Con. I think in 2013, they teased it at Comic-Con, or they, like, they kind of introduced it and then, so they teased it, and then afterwards, they moved it back a year. An entire year, they moved it back. So, what do they have to do? They, ha- they now have to give you the big stuff early, so you, especially because everybody was hating on it. If everybody was totally fine with the movie, they probably wouldn't have released so many you know, images of things like that so soon as they did. But with everybody so, uh, so uh, kind of not confident in DC and movies, they went ahead and released the early picture or the really good pictures pretty early, so people can get excited for it, and then they'll keep on releasing things, uh, so people can continue to get excited. But that's once the movie's getting close to coming out. We're still two years out. So that argument doesn't really work. And uh, just to totally jump, um, I know I read one comment on the post about somebody saying, I hope we don't have to wait a season and a half like we did with Arrow for Arrow to get his like half mask on. Or they're like, we don't, I don't want to wait a season and a half for Daredevil to get in his red suit like we waited a season and a half for Arrow to get his domino green mask on. And to that, I say, it's not the same thing. Daredevil going from a totally black suit with his face totally covered here is different from Arrow, who already has a green green suit with a green hood and shoots bows and arrows it's different from a total costume change to the addition of a half mask that you can hardly see under a hood it's even worse that you know before he had the half mask and arrow he just put like green grease paint to pretty much in the shape of a half mask so they pretty much had Arrow, it looks like Green Arrow, or an incarnation of Green Arrow, that if I saw Green Arrow, if I saw the show Arrow, and I knew who Green Arrow was, I would say, is that Green Arrow? Because it looks like Green Arrow. Or you could say, is it Robin Hood? Because, I mean, they kind of look the same. Um, But it's not... A huge jump as it would be from black suit to red suit. Green Arrow was already pretty much in his costume for the whole show. They're not going to have Daredevil be in that black costume for the entire season and put him in to the red suit at, in the last episode. If they did that, I think I'd still be cool because that means they're telling the Man Without Fear story and at the end of that story is when he gets his red suit, but I don't feel like that's going to happen. Um, I feel like by the fifth episode, fifth or sixth episode, he'll be in a red suit or possibly the yellow suit. Um, but something that is more uh, associated with Daredevil. Um, but anyways, I think that is it. I wanted to explain. I don't feel that anybody who watches my videos would have had an issue uh, seeing how marketing works and how you know Daredevil works and how making a TV show that has rich origins has to flow and also I don't think anybody who watches my videos has a hard time understanding that now in 2014 and when the show comes out 2015 that Marvel has a tight grip over their properties that they're going to be putting out on like 1980s 
where you know you could go ahead and change Bruce Banner's name to David Banner. These in this day and age, it's like source material driven. It is definitely to a T. That's how they're going to do it, um, and they're going to do it well. They're gonna go ahead and do the Jessica Jones and Luke Cage show as well. They're gonna make the Defender show. It's gonna be awesome. Everything's going to work out fine. The, the cast for this Daredevil show is amazing. Um, and some of, the, some of the actors I've not even seen uh, personally in their work. But I know from the reviews on what they've done that they do great work. Um, Charlie Cox is on Boardwalk Empire. That's considered a pretty good show on HBO. Uh, Rosa uh, Rosaria Dawes. She's a great actress. Um, Vincent D'Onofrio, another great actor. He, if um, I had to look up some of the stuff that he was in because I didn't recognize the name. Um, one big movie that pops out to me is that he actually played Private Pyle in Full Metal Jacket. And that's a pretty uh, recognized role. So... You know, we got good actors, and then there's then there's more. Um, but you know, that's just the people that came to my head, and uh, kind of their characters that they play. Um, but anyway, so that was a long rant. I had to get it off my chest because a lot of people were really making me mad with kind of, uh, to put it harshly, with their stupidity. Um, but now it's all out there. Anybody who had confusion about it, it's now been explained to you, hopefully. And But I don't feel like anybody who watches this video would have been confused about it at all. And if you're a Daredevil fan and you watch this video, I think it's safe to assume that you're like me and was definitely excited when you saw those pictures. But anyways, I'm Wellington signing off with Comic Book Lowdown. I'll see you guys next time.